Our in-depth coverage of Hurricane Irma continues now. So many people are trying to escape Hurricane Irma's path. Airlines have canceled more than 1,800 flights in and out of Florida and the Caribbean. And with all the turmoil, there are concerns of price gouging. Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Goggin joins us now live over at TF Green Airport in Warwick with that part of the story. Caroline? Well, Mike, we sat down with a local professor this afternoon who explained how exactly these airlines determine their prices. He said it all comes down to a computer algorithm that works to maximize the amount of revenue each flight can get. But he said, unfortunately, in recent days, that algorithm has worked against airlines, costing travelers thousands of dollars just to escape disaster. Floridians are on alert. Some headed to the pump, others to the airport. And if you chose the latter, you're paying for it. They just didn't pull the plug on their computerized pricing fast enough. Tim House is an associate professor at Johnson & Wales. His expertise is finance, and he's been keeping a close eye on flight prices in recent days. Anytime you see demand, if you're an economist, you're going to say, look, increased demand uh, with limited supply means much higher prices. House says with the number of people in Florida, not everyone can make it out on a flight. So in this case, the law of supply and demand applies, but it also means fleeing Florida could cost you next month's rent. That really, really hurts. So in this emergency situation, some companies decided to forego the computer algorithms and the price gouging. One airline in particular stepped up and that would be JetBlue. On Wednesday, the airline decided to cap the cost of remaining seats out of Florida at $99, $159 with a connection. American and Delta then followed suit. I'm sure they thought about it and said, you know what, the additional revenue we're going to get in, um, is not going to be worth the bad PR. House says social media only fueled this fair fire, like this tweet calling Delta out for increasing a flight from Miami by more than $2,600. So now the question remains, will goodwill have a future impact on the airlines that showed compassion? House says yes. When they're looking at two competing tickets and they see JetBlue's a little more money, they're going to say, I don't care, I'm going with JetBlue. So two more things for you tonight. If you flew up here from Florida earlier this week and you spent a ton of money on your flight and now you're noticing that prices have drastically dropped, contact your airline. See if there's some sort of refund or rebate that you can get. The second thing is if you know someone who's down in Florida who's trying to fly up here to Providence to TF Green Airport in the coming days, you better tell them to act fast. I was checking Expedia tonight. Flights are few and they are extremely expensive. Reporting live in Warwick, I'm Caroline Goggin, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Caroline, and you can count on Eyewitness News to continue tracking Hurricane Irma on air and online at WPRI.com.